Hey everybody, Undead Echo here. I just wanted to show you guys a little tutorial video, kind of, um, on how to make your own Let's Plays if you're interested. Uh, it's really simple. The stuff you need for it is it's not very expensive. Um, it's super easy, so I just wanted to show you how and the things you'll need for it. Alright, so the first thing you'll need is a program called Fraps, which is a video capturing system and what it does is it basically records your video um, from the game as well as audio if you choose to do so from your microphone and from the game as well so um, I forget exactly how much money it is it's thirty seven dollars right now and uh, there's a trial of it but the trial you can only make one minute videos and you can only record at a certain frame rate and uh, it puts like a tag on your video so uh, if you're looking to making let's plays it's probably not best to use that um, but it's super easy to use. Uh, I have it open right here. Basically, you just um, you can configure it here, and you can choose which uh, frame rate to use. I record at um, well for different let's plays, I do different settings. Uh, sometimes I record in 720p uh, at 30 frame or 60 frames per second, and other times I record at 1080p at 30 frames, just depending on the game and how I want it to feel and look. So you can also take screenshots and you can do benchmarking, which is pretty useful. You can also choose to record your external um, input, which is your headset or your microphone or whatever. And uh, yeah, so you can also do what I'm doing now, which is monitoring your desktop, which you can make tutorial videos like this. So that's that's what you'll need for your recording. Uh, there's other systems out there, uh, or there's other programs out there, but uh, I use Fraps and a lot of other Let's Players use Fraps. So um, and there's once you buy it, it's updated constantly for free. Um, you just need to go to the website and download the latest version. So, the second thing I recommend is a good microphone. Um, you can use a mic stand, you can use a professional microphone, or you can use a headset like I do. This is my headset. Uh, I just got this not too long ago, and um, it's pretty good for recording. Uh, the sound quality is great for uh, surround sound, and it's crystal clear. The microphone is it's okay. It's not amazing, but it's it's still reliable and um it's it's quite pricey but uh you can find cheaper cheaper microphones out there for like fifty dollars the w last one i used was around fifty dollars and it sounded great so you can do that um another thing i recommend doing or buying is a an external hard drive uh or another internal hard drive for your computer uh this is what i use currently it's a uh, phantom g force drive it's a two terabyte drive and what I do is I record the raw footage here in my computer. Uh, th when you install Fraps, the footage you record directly goes to your Fraps folder, and it goes in the movie section. So here it is. Um, but what I do is I record the raw footage there, and then I move it to my Phantom Drive, which is right here. It's empty right now because I don't have anything recorded. But that that process takes a while, and external hard drives are not a amazing for recording live. So it's not best to send the fraps footage directly to your external hard drive uh, for some reason like the transfer rate isn't as fast as an internal one so sometimes the footage comes out I don't know kind of uh, weird so it's not it's not best to do that but you can by all means um, the last thing you'll need is a editing system or editing software uh, I use Windows Live Movie Maker because I'm not too experienced with editing and Movie Maker is <laughs> it's simple, it's fast, and uh, you can do some pretty cool editing. It's not it's not nothing fancy like you know uh, Sony Vegas or anything. But if you're starting out new and you have a Windows computer, this comes directly with it. It's free, and it's it's amazing. Like all you have to do is just click here and pick what you want to do. Like I can insert my um I can insert uh, my Let's Play intro right here, and I'll have that right there, and then I can um, export it. Usually what I do, you can directly export to YouTube if you want, which is what I used to do, but you can custom make um, your own like system, your own save file, and I have mine set here. So it records at 720p, which is what I upload in. Um, the bitrate is set for 1080p videos, so it looks really nice. And uh, it's the si file size is okay. You'll need, like I said, you'll need a pretty big hard drive in order to do Let's Plays, but it's, it's not that big of a deal. But Windows Movie Maker is amazing. So, you know, it's it's pretty good. You don't really need anything other than that. And when you uh, save your video, you can go directly to YouTube. 
and you know log on your account and upload here which is what I do and you can upload a video and pick whatever you want you can upload several videos at a time and depending on your internet connection um, they'll, they might take a couple hours to upload I don't have an amazing connection I get like a 300 kilobyte per second connection which is pretty terrible but <laughs> uh, it takes a it takes overnight to upload about three videos but um yeah that's that's basically how it's done uh, if you have any questions you can of course you can message me and I'll I'll try to get back to you at that I I'm pretty sure I can um, this isn't a very thorough look but it's just a quick little thing I want to show you guys how I do it and I'm sure this is how a lot of other people do it as well and um, another quick update on my let's plays I just wanted to show you that um or tell you that I'm having difficulty recording uh, scratches uh, right here I ha have it on hold because just for the fact that I got a new um, GPU and for some reason it crashes the game whenever I start playing for a while like after a minute of playing it just crashes and it's it's very weird I'm trying to sort it out I think it's a driver issue I've tried many different drivers uh, maybe it might be a compatibility compatibility issue so I'm gonna try out several things and try to get that working so I apologize for that um, I have a couple uh, other let's plays upcoming I'm gonna be doing Alice Bandus Returns when that comes out I think June June something uh, that looked very interesting uh, Skyrim I'm gonna be doing Skyrim as well it's gonna be amazing cannot wait um, I also have Oblivion on hold just for the simple fact that the <laughs> the game file got corrupted so I apologize for that but um yeah I just wanted to show you guys that and give a little update so yeah thank you all for uh, joining me and watching my videos subscribe comment like whatever do all that stuff and I'll uh, see you later